Hello techies, welcome to AI Brahma YouTube channel. My name is Ganesh. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to get AI related videos. So today we are talking about automation anywhere, practical question for interview. This is the exercise four. And this is very special question because uh, one of the subscriber is commented in a one of the video. His name is uh, Birappa Pujari. He asked me a question which is asked by some interviewer in his interview scenario. So we will directly go to the question. So this is the question having a string like she twisted the cap from the bottle and held it out to him. So very good question. This is uh, most commonly and uh, if you uh, if you give the answer definitely you will hire. So like like that capacity having for this question. So this question is like, so all the words are combined and there is no space between the words, correct? If you observe here, every word is started with a capital, like uppercase and after that smaller cases are there. Like She is a one word, twisted is another word like that. And the interviewer want the output like every word should differentiate with a space and every capital word should be converted to lower case. So this is the question. Okay, we will directly go to workbench. I will show the output how it will look like first. So then we will go to one by one command. So what are all the commands we can use it. Please don't skip the video because in this question we need to use the regular expression, string manipulations uh, and loops, if condition. So this is the combination of all the commands. So that's why please watch the video so you will get the uh, correct answer whenever the interviewer will ask. So this like this we will get the output like everything is in a lower case and every word is uh, like uh, divided with a space. So this is the answer needed by the interviewer. So directly we will go to the fresh workbench. So I have already created one workbench like main. The first thing is we have already particular string, correct? So that string we need to store it in particular variable. So for that purpose, I will copy this string, total string, and I will go back to my main. So here in the variable, I will create one string variable because this is a string type. So that's why string input, correct? Because this is an input for us. And in the default value only we can give it. So if you want to make an interviewer more attract to you, so you can use a assign activity from the string. But for video purpose to understanding purpose, we can directly go to default value. So it's depending on how much time you have in an interview. Okay. So input and she twisted the cap. This particular uh, word I have kept in a default value. So just I will create. So next thing is, so try to understand the question first. Like here we have a total uh, word, correct? The one big word. So we need we need to divide that one and we need to fi find where is the capital word. So that is also very much important. We need to make it uppercase to lowercase, correct? So that's why here it's mandatory to go one by one character because here there is no uh, any unique property like uh, uh, we have a delimiter or something correct delimiter is only one thing which is a capital word so if you find the capital word that is a delimiter for two words correct so that's why we have to go one by one characters in the word for that what we can do we have to create a length so we have a string command so inside the string command we will get length. So this is the one length is the one. So you will get full length of the word. So how many characters you have in a length? So that thing. So what I will do, I will assign the input. So already we have created, we have assigned the input, correct? In the variable that input, I will take it input. And so we need to assign the output in particular variable. So that is a number variable because we need a length of the particular string. So there is a length, so n length, n length, and I'm creating. So now I have a length, correct? And the another 
uh, flow is we need to go through each and every character right for that what we can use loop each and every character means we need to use a loop so for the loop i will take and we have a how many loops we have to iterate correct so there is a times in the end times we have to take a n length so n the length time i need to go like our loop should iterate and what is the count the counter value we require inside that so that's why i will take a counter also just i'm creating a number and create and save if you have any question you can ask me in the comments so as soon as possible i will clear your uh, doubts and questions so here n times we are looping correct so we have a length and n times like length times we are looping the particular values so after that so now we need to check where is our particular capital word correct here in the first position we have a capital after third position like in the fourth position we have a capital word correct t t c f so these are all the capital words we need to find where is exactly so then only we can divide it by two correct she twisted is a if you consider one word we need to make it she is a one word twisted is a one word for that t is a main thing unique thing correct capital word so we need to find so where exactly that is positioned for that we have a inside the string only that's why i told no we need to use here string manipulation string commands okay inside the string we have a one command in the automation anyway that is a one second, not the length sorry find so find is a one command so it will do the particular word or a string so where it is exactly position it will give you the position of the particular character inside the string so how we can do in this way because here we have a s t t f t how we can judge so, uh, which character we need to find it correct in the whole text so for that we can use a regular expression so if you have a, like new to the regular expression please uh, find out in a google what is the regular expression i will also do video video tutorial for the regular expression how we can use it in a automation anywhere but for this scenario just understand what i am doing here okay so what is the source string source string is a input correct so we are finding in a input string only everything so that's why i am taking as a source string input and what we have to find exactly so here we have two options okay when like when finding so when finding so wherever the match case is there match case means word should be capital means capital only example if you write a capital a then it will search the capital a in a string okay if you make it do not match case then it will find capital a also small a also okay that's why i'm taking a match case as a capital because here uh, it's this is a case sensitive uh, scenario correct yes t these are all the case sensitive so that's why i am taking a match case and here i am taking regular expression because we don't know which uh, exactly which capital word i need to find it in a particular string correct but i know that is a capital word upper case so for that purpose i am taking a regular expression and in a regular expression we have a one possibility okay how we can write just take like this a and a to z so till a to z it will find it so meaning of this regular expression is very simple so whatever the upper case words are there from a to z every character it will check in a string if any character from a to z it is found then it is a required find so like that it will match so that is the uh, logic of regular expression okay so from where i need to find correct now from which position i need to find from the first position correct so because we are not finding from any middle so that's why i am taking as a one and we need to create another variable so that is a number variable n 
index or position in position just i am creating as a end position because this is a position we will get it correct find so in which position our particular capital words are available so after that once i will get the position so now i need to make it divide correct she twisted the cap like that so i need to make it divide so how we can do that one so we have a in a string only replace action okay just do it, take the replace so here one thing we need to observe so we have to replace with a whatever already found that particular string correct we have a position now but we don't have the character so which character yes or t or c which character i have to do correct that one we don't have for that purpose in the string itself we have substring correct so here start from and length so that we have to give so now i need the particular character yes t t c this character i need to divide it so for that purpose what i will do i will take again my s input and from the first character i will search correct from the first character no uh, so here we have an index one, right? Uh, position we will get it. So where exactly the uh, this S is there, T is there, correct? So that particular position we have to give it here, not start from one. So that's why what I will do, I will add a position, N position and length. So how much length you require from the position one, correct? This is the one position, this is one this is one so that's why what i will do length is one and i will take it in a string variable s object so i will take it as an object because i will consider this is a one object I, I i will have the yes t particular character so now what what exactly we have done so first we have taken the length of the input and each character we are looping and we are checking in each character any capital word is there or not example if you are uh, like looping 20 times for each time it is checking first time s is there capital yes s is a capital h is not a capital e is not a capital t is a capital so like that it is checking every character in string find a to z this particular regular expression so in the first iteration we got to know okay it is from maybe a first index right from the first index it is started so that's why i am giving a starting from index first or 10 index it's depending on the loop so starting from the index so one length i need correct one particular length i need and i am assigning to the output to s object that's fine so in the replace action if you go substring i got it like particular object i got it in the replace action if you go again source string where i i need to manipulate i need to manipulate in the input itself correct input is our source string and which particular string i am finding correct inside the string which character i am finding at the first time i am finding yes at the second time i am finding t right in the loop first iteration s t t f c like that capital word so where it is there so inside the s object it is there now correct we have a object uh, like particular output now so in the replace function what i will find i will find the s position s object so one character like s t right so i need to match the case because here also capital word is like case sensitive that's why and this is not a regular expression so not regular expression and start from one yes we have to find like started from the one itself this you can give it the count optional so i am removing and what we have to replace here in the object so that is very much important okay so i found that s object is there right 
but I need to make a replace with a space because here see I found the T is there but I need to replace with space and small t. So there is very much important right. So for that what we can do? We can do one thing if you go back to here. So what I have used. Yeah. So first thing is we have to do this particular input particular S object is in capital correct. So we will make it first lowercase that is also in the string only string lowercase uppercase is there same way we will get lowercase. So in inside the after the substring I'm just creating as a lowercase and source string is S object and I will create another variable as S lower object because this is a lower case correct the capital word I am making it as a small word that's it small character like a capital is there means lower case a I am doing so that thing I need to replace correct s object with a s object means with a capital T capital T or capital S so whatever the uh, like characters having the uppercase I need to replace with a space and lowercase t or lowercase letters right. So for that what I will do so I will replace with one space I am giving a space and with that lowercase is lowercase object. So whatever I have converted to lowercase in the fifth command right. So now so my replace activity is done. So where I need to keep it this output so I will keep it in same input only so I am taking an input and I am just assigning the output to the input only so again in the loop every time it will check one by one character right so the first character if it comes again the capital will not be will not be there it will replace with a small letter word so that's why I am taking as a S input so now we will take one message box to observe the output so how it will look so just I am taking a message box and what is the output input is our, my output now because everything I am replacing with input only correct replacing space and small letter word. So if you run now definitely you will get a error. So why you first we will see what is the error then I will say how we can fix it okay because sometimes in the interview see here it is not made it as any changes correct she twisted the cop so everything is in the same line itself so how we can fix this one the main thing is I have done inside the loop this message box right so it should be outside the loop how we can do sometimes uh, we will find the difficulty but like this we have to do okay loop so in, if it is in inside the loop what I will do as uh, this is my uh, way of doing the code so just I will drag and drop before the loop I will like minimize this loop and I will drag and drop so now you will get outside the loop correct the final output so we will run this bot so we will see how the output will look like so I hope you have understand the logic so if you have any question you can comment it in the video and if you have any new questions then also see again we got a one error so I was expecting this error because here see we have one important thing so always our uh, what you call the uh, particular string so substring will start with a one right and my loop also start with a one if you see it here so yes like this it is there in the first letter itself we will get a uh, what you call a, a capital letter right so for that purpose what we can do we can add one more if condition okay to avoid this one so how we can use it if so I'm using here so if okay number I will explain why I'm taking this if so my counter should equals to my n position 
so why i am taking this if condition means so if you see it here okay we have a t t t correct three times t uh, maybe four five times t we have and b have b we have two times s we have one time like that so if the same character same capital word is repeating so in my logic what it will do it will replace at the first time itself correct t it will replace first time itself so again and again if the loop is running then we will get a problem so we will get what exactly the previously we got one error no that error so for that purpose what i am doing i am taking the length and the counter that particular counter value example first iteration should match with the first character secondary second iteration should match with the second character so that's why i am taking counter equals to the position okay so just i will drag and drop inside the if condition now i will run the bot see now exactly what they want no that we have done she twisted the cap from the bottle and held it out to him so this is exactly the uh, interviewer asked right so that is only we have done it here so if you have any question please uh, reach out to me so i will explain you once again so if any new questions you have uh, got from your interview please comment it as uh, our one of the subscriber done the no, same way so this is very helpful to us like uh, how how the interviewer will ask correct so each interviewer will not be same as uh, each one correct so they will ask different different questions so that's why from this question what we have learned exactly so definitely we have learned how to use a string command so because everything we have used the string uh, the new command is find so that is very important command in the string and how to use the regular expression that is also we have used correct regular expression so basically these two uh, knowledge uh, if they want to check it definitely this question is perfect for the interviewer correct right so that's why this is a special uh, interview question please uh, do with your uh, own logic or something so if you find other logic please uh, like comment it in a, a youtube so uh, viewers will get more benefit from that logics also so thank you very much for the uh, watching this video and if you want more ai related video please comment it and hit the like button so ai brahma will uh, like give the more and more updates about the ai in upcoming videos thank you very much if you are new to my video please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon all the best for your interview